Hi guys, Mary Everything. Welcome to the 12 days of Book Miss. Today is day one and we're starting strong with a bookish gift guide. Book lights, people are so innovative with them these days. I personally have one that you put over your neck. There's one that you can collapse onto the book. Different fun things that can happen. And it's just such a useful gift. Annotating tools, pencils, aesthetic highlighters, post-its. I personally love the clear ones. Tabs. Making a whole package out of it could be very cool as well. Just a little annotating kit. Book journals, some girlies are just meant for it. To pair that with some of the items from the annotating tools could be very fun as well. There are ones that are pre-made. There are ones that you can personalize. You can add some stickers to that for them to be able to do everything that they want to do with it. Book pockets. These are so fun. I don't know exactly how they're called. I'll put a bunch of images on the screen to just protect your book, carry your book. There are so many cute ones and I think they're super fun and very underrated in how useful they can be. A tote bag. I feel like every reader likes a good tote bag. There's so many different ones. We have different colors, we have different shapes, different designs as well. I think you can make the gift very special depending on like what is on the tote bag itself. I have one of Taylor Swift. A main thing I put in there is my Kindle and my book. A good old mug, a cup. Again, I think there's the option of personalizing it. And even if it doesn't have any crazy specific thing on it, there's some really cute ones out there. You just have to look and to give it with, with your heart. Candles, again, so many different shapes and colors to maybe add to their room, their reading corners, their libraries. God knows what people have these days. And good for them. Stickers, you can do so many things with them. You can get ones that are specific to books, but I also feel like they're very fun to play with if you have a Kindle, if you have a reading journal. And I think it's always a very fun and easy gift to give to people. Depending on your level of comfort with the person or reading chair, I think a lot of people are making their little reading corners and it fits the aesthetic. There are some very small ones that you can just put on the floor. There's some bigger ones, but I think that's a very cool gift. A book base. I've seen this on TikTok and I thought it was the coolest little thing ever. It's so cute. It's like a book but for your plants. Earphones, I think there's a various price range depending on what you wanna do. I feel like, again, it just fits the overall vibe. Lastly in this category, a blanket, a little blankie. I know there's also like the hoodie blankets that are so fun, perfect for reading. I can guarantee you this can make a lot of people happy. Book posters, you can make some yourself on Canva. Honestly, I always say it's me and Canva against the world, but you can also order some on Etsy, some that are personalized, some that are already set. Whether the design is of their favorite books or of something in relation to their favorite books, I think it's a very fun gift and can be a very cool and unique piece of decor. In the same train of thought, any item with a literary reference on it, t-shirts, mugs, anything that I've mentioned, honestly, I think you can find with a bit of a bookish twist and again even if you have ideas that are not necessarily on this list or have anything to do with books there's often a way to find something that has something to do with the love of reading if that's what you're really going for annotated books if you have the time the passion the love the energy it is such a beautiful and special gift to take a book and just really love on it and just underline everything that you love and you think of when you're reading to give to someone, I think it can enhance the reading experience in a very particular way. And it's just so very special. Book flower bouquet, bouquets? I don't know how to say this in English, but they're just a mix of actual flowers and books in a bouquet. And it's just so fun and so cute. And if you have the money and the patience and the energy to just pick out different books and, you know, craft it all up in a bouquet. A book stamp, an absolute classic, or a book embosser. Both can be personalized and also help whoever you're giving it to personalize their own libraries. It's so cute. An electronic reader machine device. I personally have a Kindle. I think they're very fun. They give you access to Kindle Unlimited, but I know there's other options like Kobo. And depending on where you live with Kobo, you can connect to your local library. Cases for those e-reading devices, I think are so necessary. They get thrown around, they get carried away. In the same avenue, pouches, similar to the book pocket. There are so many different cute ones. And I think you can also just put all of your reading tools in there as well if you want. A Kindle stand for the people who are really really into their Kindles can kind of put them near your bed and just 
read without even having to swipe yourself they come with a little remote or you can get a remote separately if you want to gift that to someone i think that's so cool and they just are obsessed with their little earring device a pop socket i think is so fun to have on your kindle or whatever reading device you have it just makes the holding and reading experience a lot better so again little tiny things that you can like kind of throw in together i think to create a fun package of a gift depending on who you're gifting it to that's just a general gifting advice from for my end for the last category easy gifts just things that you can just kind of top your card and be done with gift cards for bookshops bookstores coffee shops anything kind of in that avenue memberships kindle unlimited memberships maybe they have a kindle but not the membership the exact same thing with Kobo, an Audible membership if they love audiobooks. A Spotify membership, again, you don't have to do the full year, you can do a few months. I feel like that would be very fun and very appreciated. I feel like it also just fits the reading vibe without necessarily being about books. That's enough talking for today and for probably ever. Thank you so much for watching. This hat will probably not stay throughout the 12 days of Bookmas, but I hope you enjoyed me suffering through a video with it. I'm so hot and out of breath. But yeah, that's enough talking for me. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you not tomorrow, but the day after. Bye.